All right, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, I'm Aaron Hallett. I write original Christian rock, and if you're watching this, all I'm doing is just putting a song together, and I just do it on camera so you can see my whole process. I was just messing around on my acoustic guitar, and I came up with a sort of an idea. Usually, in the past, I would just come up with something on the electric, and I would just... Well, this whatever, but it would just be the guitar and I'd come up with a riff or two and I'd just run off of that. But what I'm doing now is I'm playing the guitar and singing, which is like something I'm not good at. So I guess I'm just starting to try and do it. Not that I really want to be performing with both or anything necessarily, but just it's different and my brain works differently when I'm doing the songs, like with both at the same time, I guess. So like I come up with things I probably wouldn't have otherwise. Yeah, I got a pretty easy... My guitar part. I want to do. Yeah, I think I'll play that F sharp there. Ba -da -da -da. Ba -da -da -da. So, like, that would be like the verse, just really short, and then I'll go into like a. in there I'll go really high major chorus okay I think I got an idea for this song um I'm gonna record a scratch track I'm not warmed up as far as uh vocals go so this is probably gonna be fairly awful but yeah yeah. Got no idea for that melody. Yeah, that might work. Yeah. Okay, that's horrendously bad, but I'll at least know what I had in mind. <laughs> I'm going to record the acoustic left. And then a right side, and I might layer the chorus with electric. So. Okay, I grabbed my electric guitar and I tuned it up. I no longer need the headphones, which is nice, but uh, I'm gonna track this. I'm just gonna really simply do the chorus parts. I just finished up the right and left electric guitar for the chorus. I have a lot of swirly phaser sounds on. I'm gonna do a guitar solo, it's just improvised. Um, I don't plan these, I just play randomly in the scale. So that's what I'm gonna do. Here goes. I 
just got the solo done. Usually I do those in one take. This actually took two because I completely just, I, I just fell down the stairs musically <laughs> halfway through i forgot what key i was in and i was like oh 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 so yeah but uh my approach to the bass is pretty much the same thing i know what i played on the guitar and i'm just gonna improvise around it so yeah here goes The uh, drum loop you've been hearing has just been wiped out because that was just there to keep time until I actually played something. So I have the metronome on, it's really loud. I'm gonna play drums to what I just recorded. up the drums and I was kind of feeling like I wanted to do like a little bit of a really super easy keyboard lead underneath so I'm thinking like uh I'll just go through the whole song okay yeah so uh, I'm gonna track this like string part I think I'm just gonna do really simple Three note chords, but with that sound. I typed up some lyrics real quick. Actually, I just talk text them, so it's super fast. I was just uh, warming up my vocals, and I think I'm ready to sing it. So I'm just gonna try and give it a run through. Here goes. So the vocals are finished. I'm not going to do any harmonies, so it's done. Seems good to me. I just kind of like wrote this up quick. Uh, usually my songs are kind of like random. It's technically Christian rock. Sometimes the lyrics are just like things that I'm thinking of or something like that, not necessarily having to do with anything. Sometimes they're really on point. It all depends. I got a lot of songs, so, you know, I'm just kind <laughs> of go for whatever. They're in the description box, so if you can't understand what I'm saying when I'm singing, you can look there and you'll see the lyrics. Up above the lyrics in the description. Uh, in the description box you're going to see a whole bunch of places where you can purchase and stream my music and it's just the usual online retail which most people use itunes amazon spotify etc if you see the one you use in that list go to that type in my name in their search bar you should be able to find me it's the same as youtube channel aaron hallett finally up above that in the description box actually coming first in order when you're looking at it is pastormelissascott.com i have that there because uh i just feel like that's the best bible teaching i've ever seen and i don't see a lot of good bible teaching because most people that are doing any kind of thing that you could even call Bible teaching. It's just like subjective ideas, denominational things, and a bunch of traditions and stuff, and or their own opinion, and they just try to like, I, I don't know, they're trying to take out the text that they think fits with what their agenda is. That's a completely wrong way to do it. That's text out of context. That's error. PastorMelissaScott.com is a website used by Pastor Melissa Scott. She pastors Faith and in Glendale, California. Her and then her late husband both appear on the website. So they got like three streaming things. One is hers, one is his, and then they got like a combo one. And then they have an app that streams said combo one 
24 7 and you can see them on youtube and all kinds of stuff but just go to the website and you'll find everything there it's just a bunch of study notes and various things because they just do a lot of deep diving translation historical context stuff into the scriptures get the exact meaning of the scriptures as the writers were intending them without bringing in any subjective ideas of what should this mean it's just what does this mean? <laughs> so that's really cool because a lot of people just don't do that anymore. You can go in, learn a lot of stuff that you've never even heard before, and even just breaking down the language really helps. And uh, the one I always said that really impressed upon me, it, or impressed upon me, is when uh, her late husband was teaching about faith, and she does the same. The word in the New Testament Greek is pistis, and then the Hebrew there's like three or four words. It's like running to a shelter, running to the voice of the sayer, leaning on a staff, that sort of thing. The New Testament Greek, it's pistis. It's a really precise word. It's action, verb, ongoing, and continuous. You're the one performing the action, and it's action based upon belief sustained by confidence. So when we translate it into believe, that doesn't cover it. That's just the mental ascent. There's an action component. And don't think of it as a works thing because the faithing action is the action. So you're basically ongoing, continually trusting in God. And then what you also get from this is the process of salvation is an ongoing, continuous one until the day you die. And God is the one changing you because he's the potter where the clay. So you keep holding on to faith. God works the change in you from the inside out. So it's not an adherence to rules and regulations, but rather God starts changing your heart. So you're doing things out of love, love for God, love for others. And love in the New Testament Greek would be agape. It's the highest form of love. It's unconditional with a spirit of giving. So these things are really cool to learn because it just gives you much better grasp and hold and expands your faith. So that's great. So uh, yeah, check it out. It's awesome stuff. I can't recommend it highly enough. If you want to see more of my music, I'm going to just keep writing songs. So subscribe, like, comment, share, and you'll keep seeing me. The song's coming up right now. Hope you enjoy it. Later. Bye.